Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another StarCast TV cast. I'm Sham2. We're going to get on into JYJ versus Hero today. Uh, this is going to be a best of three. We're starting off on Neo Sylphid. Let's jump into the match. Glad you could all be... Oh my god, did I forget to set it to full screen? Let's just go do that real quick. Options, video... Alright, cool. You know what? At this point, I would normally restart, but we've restarted like 16 times already. So, uh... We're gonna just let that one slide. <laughs> Alright. So, spawning up here at the 12 o'clock position... It is Hero. Or Zerg player. Spawning as Gray. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, it is JYJ. In the red. Sneo so is such a great uh great map. I mean it's it's been such a great solid map to start off with. It's um it's just so nice and balanced in in a lot of different respects is it the most perfectly balanced map no but it is a very good uh option right now for a lot of tournament organizers and spawn bangs and everything to just say neo sylphid is 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 pretty uh even ground for a lot of players a lot of uh a lot of map pools have it it's just so great why is it so great because there's there's an easy bunch of bases for zerg to take that they can defend easily with lurkers um, that have gas and they're not only mineral onlys. Meanwhile, Terran has an easy expansion uh, pattern here as well. They have a lot of different options for what they want to do. If they so choose, they can go for a full wall. It looks like already we could say that uh, JYJ is going for this forward barracks. But behind this, he's going for the beginning of that full wall. And I really like this because should this initial, uh, you know, one or two Marines get caught off guard by, say, I don't know, a nine pool? Uh, he can easily fall this uh, barracks back here. And that's that's going to be very useful because we do see on the other side of the map, Hero is going for a nine pool. Very aggressive opening. This is a great way to use this map as well. This map does not offer a ramp um, and really any easily defensible spot against early Zergling. Uh, so this is going to be actually pretty difficult here for JYJ to defend. Uh, Luckily, though, JYJ is going to get that, that initial scout and understand that there is uh, a later hatchery here. And are we going to see those Marines return? Oh, no, actually did not check the hatchery hell. Uh, but now seeing the Zergling, it does look like those Marines are getting into... Not an immediate retreat. Oh, and we didn't go for the full wall either. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here that are being very, very curious. Uh, it seems like we are, though, building up a couple of Marines out here to get ready. We have a factory on the way. The second uh, Supply Depot is coming down to go for that wall. We're catching, actually, a lot of these Zergling not grouped up, and that actually killed a lot of the Zergling and aggression here from Hero. Uh, not only that, but JYJ is able to sneak an SCV back in. Two Zergling are going to make their way into the main base, but two Zergling aren't that much. And not only that, but JYJ is going to find an Overlord in the middle of the map. Oh my god. What a great set of, uh, of victories there for JYJ against the Nine Pool. Now, one SCV is going to get picked off there by the Zergling. Uh, and Hero is going to find a little bit of value out of these, these Zergling. But JYJ did get... Um, some pretty good victories out of what could have potentially happened there with that nine pool. We've got four Marines built up all together as well. That's actually a pretty good fighting force. Uh, so Hero, in response, is put, uh, putting out a couple more Zergling just, I guess, in case there is a little bit more, uh, if there's a, you know, reciprocating push out here from JYJ. Probably not going to see that, but what's important here is that, um, Hero did see this Vulture, did see the factory... Uh, come down. I'm oh, sorry. See, saw the factory. Didn't see the vulture. Um, and what's going to be very crucial here is whether or not Hero can deny JYJ's vulture from getting in. Now we do have the creep colony coming in here. It should be able to be able to turn into a sunken colony uh, in time. Um, and with a couple of zergling blocking over here, even if it gets like uh, it gets most of the way here, it will get caught up in that last couple of seconds. But behind this. We do see JYJ going for a starport, which is finishing up here as well now. Uh, 
a second vulture coming out here. And uh, very good here for Hero to see that there's a second vulture. Because one vulture cannot get by a sunken colony easily. But two vultures can. They have a lot easier of a time. Um, they, you know, the one tanks it, the other one uh, is able to just kind of slide by. So, you know, having a little bit of, uh, ooh, of Sim City here. We do have that other hatchery coming in. Now we're going up to three volts. But guess what? Oh, actually, very interesting. We're not seeing a dropship coming out here from JYJ. Instead, we are actually going directly into Wraith. Uh, the Spire is just about to finish up here. So because of the, the slightly delayed timing here of this Wraith, uh, a pair of Scourge could get a little bit da damage done. Now, it looks like two deaths there from the Vulture. Sorry, I was looking at the, uh, the Spire timing here to see if there was going to be any type of Mutas or Wraiths coming out. One Wraith does come out. Ooh, does pick up an immediate kill. Two kills. Oh my god, all of these drones were so hurt by those that this Wraith is just cleaning up. That was a lot of drone kills here. We are down to 15 drones. And so right now, JYJ is sitting in a pretty good spot. Does not have an expansion on the way, but Hero now finally has those mutas out. Uh, we did get the engineering bay up. We do have plus one on the way, and we do have missile turrets up now as well, at least one. So it's going to be very crucial here for uh, JYJ to not really overcommit and not lose too much. But right now, I would say Hero is getting into a really good position. Instead of actually pumping out a lot of mutas, you can see that actually JYJ, oh sorry, Hero, is taking this time to drone back up. We're up to 21 drones, the 25 SCVs. Uh, JYJ is actually in a little bit of trouble here, I would say, uh, because a Zerg on equal supply and uh, worker count is really devastating, especially on two gases. Um, so I'm curious to see what... JYJ has in store behind this. Looks like another barracks is coming down here. Looks like we're just going to kind of pump up to 1-1. One, one. Uh, and with this Wraith going around, this is a very ballsy Wraith, but it has to get that scout out. Oh, God, it's running directly into Scourge. Oh, very nice micro, but is it good enough? Oh, my God, yes. He's going to stay alive for a little bit longer. We see a machine shop coming down here. Does get the full scout. Doesn't see any other type of tech. Oh, never mind. We do have the Hydralis Den and Lurker Tech on the way, uh, as well as an Evo Chamber. The Mutas will finish off this Wraith, but it did get the scouting done. It does know exactly what's up here. So we're now pumping out a lot of Marines. Uh, we have the Science facil Facility and a Science Vessel out. Um, so we're sitting pretty good in terms of tech. We're playing pretty much aggressive one base Terran tech here. Uh, so now I'm just kind of curious to see what is exactly going to be uh, JYJ's ability to do damage here. This is a very crucial time here for Hero. Hero has to be building up as much econ as possible because Zerg uh, kind of pumps out a lot of units all at once. They don't slowly build up like Terran or Protoss do. They, they typically um, you know, will build up a lot of drones, then build up a lot of armor, uh, army. A lot of drones, a lot of army. Um, and this is going to be very crucial. Hero does get a really good scout out here, though. So this is going to be very important for Hero to have seen everything with the Scourge, with the Mutas, and see that this timing is coming out here. Uh, oh my god, running the Muta, though, directly in. Can he get the Science Vessel? No! With one more Scourge worth of damage left here. Because the important part here is, remember, we're getting a lot of Lurkers here. Uh, the Lurkers are going to have to overwhelm not only the Marines, but the Siege Tanks and everything else. The thing is, is that if you can really interstitial the, uh, the, you know, interstitch, I guess, the, uh, the Lurkers into the middle of the Terran army, very easy to get, like, a, a, a massive kill. But other tactics here are to slowly force the Terran to scan, push, scan, push. Um, if that Science Vessel had gone down... This would have been a much easier timing uh, for Hero to counter. But now that there's a Science Vessel, uh, this makes it a lot more difficult here for Hero to defend this easily. Want to radiate going down? It looks like actually we're going to go pushing right on in because the Sea Tanks are incredibly overexposed. The Lurkers are getting on top of the Marines, but a couple of those Spines are going to take out most of the Medic uh, Marine army that was in the middle of all of it. 
are we going to be able to actually push in here? That's the question. The siege tanks don't seem to have siege, uh, siege range just yet. The science vessel was sniped. Which is crucial here. Uh, looks like JYJ is actually going to push up the other side. The lurkers are way out of position now. Um, it could be that a couple of them could go over here just to deny any type of reinforcements. Uh, this is very weird. Uh, we're unburrowing and burrowing. We're completely blind to where the Terran army is. And oh my god, it looks like now Hero realizes that JYJ walked through the third base. There's nothing back here. And if JYJ is able to get into a defensive position on top of Hero's, uh, you know, natural, this makes it even harder to, to just break through. Uh, the lurkers are constantly have to unburrow and burrow. We do have siege tank, siege mode. Now finally uh, researched and, and finished up here. Uh, we're desperately looking if there's any other science vessels coming out, but there's not any science vessels. We're in a really awkward situation here, though, because we have to break this push now. The lurkers are getting on top of the marines and the bio, but there's so many siege tanks. The, the bio is absolutely shredded, but there's another set of bio coming in here. The marines are trying to just dodge around this lurker attack for now. It looks like a couple of Zergling are going to come from the other side and get on top of the Marines and the Medics. More Lurkers coming in from the Natural. JYJ is looking to be in a really dangerous position. I don't believe we have any combat scans left. It doesn't look like it. We have to back up. The Siege Tank now is getting pushed out. And it looks like Hero has defended this for now. JYJ with no expansion in the near future has to get something done with this push. But it looks like Hero has taken a third base. We've gotten... Uh, up to a big enough army to fight this. I think, barring a miracle, I think Hero's going to take game number one here because JYJ just lost that push. Lurkers yet again getting on top. We do have some scans going down here, but uh, I, don't, I don't know where that scan went. It looks like, oh, I think it was for a third base probably. And game number one here is going to go over to Hero. Okay. Let me set up game number two here. Game number two. I gotta hide this because, uh, I've realized that showing um, when you're loading a replay, it shows uh, how much time is, is in the replay. So I want to make sure I hide that from you, the viewers. Let's get into game number two. Let's see exactly what's going on here. Spawning over here in the top right-hand corner is our Teal Terran. It's JYJ. And spawning down here in the bottom left-hand corner is Chobodari, a.k.a. Hero. Hero currently up 1-0 over their opponent. And uh, we're now on a two-player map, so, you know, a little bit more um, flexibility here for aggressive builds. You know where your opponent is going to uh, start, and that makes it a little bit easier for kind of cheekier tactics, kind of putting... Uh, proxy bases or uh, maybe more aggressive things like you know just you know nine pools etc uh, because you don't have to have any guessing here uh, it doesn't look like we're going to see any type of uh, cheesy builds though we do have pretty much everybody building in base so far uh, and this is one of the newer maps I actually completely forget the name but I know it's on ladder now uh, <laughs> and uh, it's 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 led to some really interesting games so far. Um, so I'm curious to see how uh, how this map plays out here for TVZ, um, so I can steal some of these strats for my own. But so far, I mean, like game number one, you know, we saw this really aggressive. JYJ style. We saw, you know, 1-1-1 one, one, one into uh, kind of, a, you know, what some people call like a hanbang timing where you get a couple of uh, siege tanks, a science vessel, and you push out and win the game. Uh, it doesn't look like we're seeing, uh, you know, 
an overly aggressive beginning here, but we do see that gas going down immediately here. We might see another type of 1-1-1 style game. Uh, but so far, I mean, on the other side of the map, Hero is taking the uh, later pool. We did get that 12 hatch uh, and following that up into a gas. So it looks like, uh, you know, Hero is playing this a little less aggressively than game number one, where we had that that nine pool coming out there and we try to get some victories. Uh, and, you know, if you really kind of like add it all together, that nine pool that failed to really do that much except for kill like one or two SCVs. Um, didn't seem to put Hero in that bad of a situation. And that's kind of why a lot of players go for nine pools. Uh, it's, you know, it is aggressive. It does some damage if, if the opponent is really not waiting for it. But it does kind of set the pace, uh, hopefully, in the Zerg's favor. Uh, unfortunately, in game number one, that didn't really work out there for Hero. Uh, so game number two, it seems like Hero is playing a lot more of an econ, a little bit more of an, a macro style build here. Uh, we do this little SCV trying to kick out these uh, drones. These drones are actually pretty hurt, too, which is actually kind of funny. Really nice micro coming out there from JYJ. Uh, but it looks like Hero is going to reciprocate that nice micro. And oh, my God. The SCV gets away. Uh, but so far, uh, JYJ is going for uh, a pretty aggressive um, first full... Oh, not aggressive, sorry. Uh, we're, you know, like, pretty... Uh, I would say actually very standard. Never mind, we're going right back into 1 1 1. Interesting. Um, starting off with the Vulture, of course, and going from there. Uh, now, this time, Hero had a lot more of a, a visibility into what uh, JYJ was going for. We, you know, we did get a little bit of visibility after those, those uh, that Zergling did get in from the Nine Pool. Uh, but now we know, you know, pretty much everything's going on. We see that 1 1 1 again, except this time we are actually getting a command center. Uh, after the 111 has been started. So I'm curious to see uh, how this is going to change for JYJ's strategy. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of Korean players lately have either been going for uh, Factory Expand into Sarport, like kind of like 1-1 Expand 1. Uh, but now we're, uh, you know, JYJ today has been playing a lot more of a just straight up 1-1-1 build. Uh, the second colony is up, so it's not like JYJ can do that much. Hero on the other side of the map, though, is getting that spire. We got for that two hatch timing. Uh, and because we got that earlier hatchery, we do have a little bit more of an aggressive... Uh, sorry, God, I keep saying aggressive today. Uh, a more of an economic opening here. We got a lot more drones. We're up to 22 already. Um, JYJ is following this up with more vultures. And again, that's just one of those things that uh, a lot of Zergs have to be prepared for. But guess what? Guess who's prepared? Hero. Hero's already got this uh, the Sim City set up so that there's, I don't think, any way for the vultures to get in. Uh, and that should lock those vultures up. The first Wraith is out. going to take out one of these overlords. So that's just a really, you know, a little bit of a nuisance. There is a second overlord out here for that Wraith to go hunt, hunt and beeline right to the other one. Looks like the vultures are going to try and go in. Nope, they're going to see that full wall and have to back up. But at this point... Um, it's important to note that like these vultures can be used for other things. Uh, if JYJ so uh, wishes to, he could get some mines and really kind of like uh, delay a little bit of any type of Zerg push. Uh, the Spire did finish up. Looks like we're going into mutas considering we saved up a lot of larva here. So uh, the, the interesting thing here is that we do have cloak and more wraiths on the way uh i i'm not exactly sure why there's cloak coming in here to be honest uh because we didn't go into like a two port play but we did get dropship um the dropship is, is kind of slinking around over here it looks like it's going to pick up those uh vultures and what's interesting here is that there are mutas kind of pacing back and forth there's a third base is coming up here from hero uh, and Hero seems to be very wise here. Hero's not really throwing these mutas across the map to go do some damage. Uh, instead, Hero's using them as more of a defensive set. Um, this might be because I think Hero has an idea that with that 1-1-1 style play, he needs to get the Overlord speed, which he did. Uh, and so he's going to play a little bit 
more defensively until he knows that his Mutas aren't going to get picked off by those Wraiths. But we do have Cloak. And there's the Cloak, but guess what? I don't know if JYJ is going to be already expecting a bunch of Overlords to be over here. And there we go, yep. There's the Cloak getting absolutely shredded. JYJ lost one Wraith already. The Mutas are able to bully down another one of these Missile Turrets. Potentially, nope, too many SCVs are repairing it. They're going to take out one more of the building uh, Missile Turrets for now. We're going to back up. We did take a couple of Mutas worth of loss there. But another Wraith getting a little bit too far forward here. Uh, going to cause an issue. But on the other side of the map, we do have Vultures. Oh my god, they've killed 13 drones. Can JYJ turn this around simply with these Vultures? I mean, they've done so much damage. We're trying to build up more drones. Uh, but this is just a lot of damage from both sides. We can't really go into the natural, though. There's that sunken that's guarding already. And, oh, God, we are going to sleep right on in there. 16 to 35. In the worker count right now. And it looks like Hero is now drastically on the back foot. I mean, we do have this third base. We do have the Mutas kind of bullying down everything else. I was wondering why those Wraiths were being microed. I was like, oh yeah, there was a drop somewhere, wasn't there? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but overall, I mean, we lost so many drones. But now we have so many Mutalisks. And honestly, if there's one thing I've learned about Zerg, it's that they actually don't need drones. Drones are actually just a nicety. Yeah, I like this. Going for the, the closer missile turret, because that's exactly what the Terran will go for. For uh... Oh my god. Irradiate is just about done. Can we get the science facility done? No way. No way. But we do have a science vessel right here with 70, 80 energy. We have an Irradiate available. He's just waiting for the best time. There we go. There's that Irradiate. Oh my god. The Mutas are taking so much damage. You know what I think is really smart here? I think he was waiting for that Irradiate. Oh, another Vulture made away in there. Got one more kill. I think he was waiting for the Irradiate for when the Mutas were in a retreat. Because that means that JYJ... Oh, sorry. That means that Hero wasn't paying attention to them. Uh, but that Irradiate just did so much damage. Oh my god. We're down to four Mutalisks now. And we're re-droning really hard. We're up to 34 drones again. But that irradiate, that was, that was god tier. Holy cow. All right, so. What can we do now? We've got, we've got a small amount of mutas. We've got a couple of vultures poking around the map. The same side, like, JYJ doesn't really have that much of an army right now. Um, we've only got four barracks. There's a fifth one on the production. We are starting to make some siege tanks. Uh, we've got a science facility that's burned down. And we do have this, this one uh, science vessel. Four kills on that guy. The question here is, uh, what is, what is, whoa, what is going to be the call here for Hero to get back into this game? I mean, we could continue on the, the Muta path, but we're going to be, end up dealing with a lot of science vessels. We had that science facility for a long time. We've had two gas in order to constantly pump out more science vessels. Uh, so going for more mutas would be a va very dangerous thing unless you get a very good stop command on top of the Terran army. But even then, you have to worry about marines and medics doing a lot of damage. So it doesn't seem like Hero wants to do that. Hero is instead getting a lot of Hydralisks behind this. Uh, and this is kind of an interesting choice, right? So Hydras don't really do well against siege tanks when it's kind of going into mech style. And really, overall, marines will scale better than Hydras. But Hydras are pretty chunky units. Oh my god, the Irradiate is too good! Didn't even get that science vessel. Oh my god. Alright, so. It seems like the only choice here for Hero is to go for these uh, tons of Hydralis. Now, we do have a Defiler Mound all the way. We do have this Zerg Hive tech up. But the Defiler Mound is not done. We've got this push on the way. So we've got very limited options. We need a lot of really chunky units very soon. And I think Hero is going to hope that these Hydras are going to be able to hold off this push. But I don't know. This is a huge Terran push. JYJ walking around with four 
science vessels, and two siege tanks. Not to mention a massive amount of marines. They do have plus one as well. And they're just going to jump right on top. Okay, so it wasn't actually Hydras, it was just going into Lurkers. A lot of Lurkers, by the way. I was like, okay, Hydras, interesting choice. I don't know if I really agree with it, but I can't say anything against someone like Hero. And be like, Hero doesn't know what he's doing. Why would he make all these Hydras? <laughs> So one sea shank actually getting taken down by that sucking colony is actually pretty huge. Here comes the massive surround from Hero. Oh my god, JYJ does not have nearly enough to defend this. The Irradiate's going down super late. The Marines are trying to get in here, but there's so many lurkers. I think there's just way too much econ out here for Hero. Absolutely destroying that push. <laughs> that, that was a hell of a push. I was like, there's no way those that many Hydras is going to be able to defend that push. But Hero, at the last second, turns them all into Lurkers, is able to just completely turn it around. And a fleet of Scourge coming in here now. Oh my god, three of those side vessels going down. JYJ is getting pushed back. Hero is dominating. We've got so many Lurkers. We've got so... But, but as I say that, the Lurkers are getting torn apart. apart. JYJ with a decent concave here. Oh, but that... That's the problem here, is that Terran can't lose a ball like that. You cannot lose a ball like that. Once you lose that, you've lost so much momentum. And behind this, we've got Hero taking a fourth base. JYJ, no third base in sight. We're starting to mine out of our main base. And... I mean, Heroes just got so much. Alright, so we've got a little smaller force coming in here of Marines, Medics, and a couple of these Science Vessels. But on the other side, we've got a lot of Lurkers coming back up again. We've got equal amount of Lurkers. And guess what? Now we've got Defilers. Now we've got Dark Swarm. What is, what is JYJ going to do here? We do get an Irradiate onto that uh, Defiler, but, I mean, Hero has so many units here. I mean, I I just don't see how JYJ is going to be able to break this, this Zerg. Meanwhile, on the other side, I mean, we've got a massive amount of these... Uh, Zergling and Lurker is pushing out here. We're taking out all of these incoming Marines. <laughs> and the small ball of, of Marines and Medics over here are going to have to go home and defend this. While more and more Lurkers get on top of exactly where the, the Terran is trying to, you know, get their, their units from. Uh gonna back up here with the the small amount of lurkers and zergling here and that's just good you know like this is costing jyj so many actions just to uh just to constantly defend that natural and this is really expert use here of hero using the the two paths of this map across to get across the fourth base is now fully operational we've got gas we've got everything else here we've got more defilers coming out uh and JYJ is going to try and push out this third base. Defiler going down there with an irradiate. Uh, but we have another defiler behind that. It also gets irradiated. Trying to throw that through the Nidus Canal, but that's not going to be in time. Oh, but now we've got so much of these Marines walking into so many lurkers. We're losing so much. On this side of the map, we've got Dark Swarm pushing in on the natural. Oh, man. GG. And that's going to be Hero taking it. 2-0. All right, so that was our best of three. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. I'm Champ2. We've got more StarCast TV stuff coming up, so if you haven't done so already, please throw down that subscribe on StarCast TV on YouTube.com. Um, if you're interested in any of my stuff, of course, twitch.tv slash Champ2. And... I hope to see you all soon.